YouTube, today I'm going to take you free diving with me and my family. We'll see some clear, calm conditions for some lobstering, and there will also be some footage of a pretty strange fish known as a stargazer. I hope you enjoy watching November in South Florida. multiple ways to catch Florida lobsters. You can use a tank, Brownie's third lung, which pumps air down from the surface through a hose, or you can free dive like us by getting it down one breath at a time. There are different methods as well. All should be done with pretty hefty gloves, but here you can see me reaching in for a lobster. You should scout the rock first because there are some dangers, such as eels, lionfish, and urchins, but that's all part of it. The method we have come to love is usually a two-person job, where one coerces the lobster to leave his rock using what is called a tickle stick. The other person uses a net and traps the lobsters, then uses their other hand to secure it. This method reduces the chance of maiming a lobster. That is important to keep in mind because all lobsters need to be gauged, and you don't want to have to put a lobster back with missing legs or tentacles if you can help it, especially if she's holding eggs. Some divers use snares, but I've never tried it. Nice job, dude. Another big one. I use a weight belt when I dive now. I like to spend time on the bottom with as little effort to stay down. This helps me try and situate the lobsters in better positions for the other divers. Although I like to claim I'm somewhat of a pro at tickling lobsters out, my sister Brooke has to remind me that she can get it done on her own. And when the lobster's caught, she can give me back the tickle stick. If you can take the time to not rush things at the bottom, sometimes you can catch the lobsters off guard and pick up an easy one. Now 
for this part of the video, I will advise you not to try this. Here we found a stargazer who buried himself waiting for prey. This species of fish is known for their ability to remain motionless for very extended periods of time like you can see. These fish have venomous spines on their bodies and some have adapted to be able to deliver electrical shocks which can even harm people. I handled this fish with great care and besides slight flaring of the fins, he remained unbothered. It will eventually rebury himself and use his eyes on the top of its head to ambush prey. And although the stargazer is regarded as one of the ugliest fish in the sea, we were very excited to see one in person. I don't know about you viewers, but a sight like this is so exciting for me. This many lobsters under one rock. Definitely a lucky day. That is all I have to show for today. I hope you enjoyed watching my content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Stop by my channel to see more or click on my links below to be brought to either Brooke or Victor's channels because believe me, if you like what I showed you, you're really in for something.